It's a beautiful morning that the Lord has given us, Monday morning, the very first day of the week. And we want to share scriptures that will be guiding us throughout the week. It's my hope and prayer that you have your pen and book ready to write the scripture that will be giving us the reflection and the prayer point of the week. Uh, coming to you all the way from ACK St. John's Happy Valley, this is your brother in Christ, Eliakim Paul, in this divine, divine uh, uh, program that is called the Divine Dispatch. And we are happy to always get your feedback and to always know there is someone that is learning the scriptures with us. Before we begin our session, let us make a short prayer. We love you, Lamb of God, because of yet another opportunity that you've given us, the grace to see a new week. And you know that you have begun a good week for us, and you're going to give us success at the end of it. In between, Lord, we pray for your guidance, we pray the leading of your spirit, and we pray that you make this week a success, that we shall sit back and give you praise. Now, Lord, we want to pray that this morning, through the power of your spirit, you will minister to us through your word, and that, Lamb of God, we shall experience the bounty of heaven. The Bible says, it is you that ordains the ear with fatness and makes it drip with goodness. We pray that you may anoint this week for us and command it for us. Get rid of every obstacle in this week that you may have a moment that we shall serve you in truth and in spirit. In Jesus' name we pray us and give thanks. Now this morning, I want us to focus on all the voices and all the situations around us that make us to shift our focus on the things that matter. I'm reading from the book of Mark, chapter 10, and I already read the two verses, that is verse 47. The Bible says, And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent, but he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying, Take heart, rise, he's calling you. Now, this is the story of the blind man, Myers, when he's calling out to Jesus, the healer. And he was sure that if Jesus looked at him, paid attention to him, he would give him back his sight. But what is amazing is how the crowd around Jesus and around the blind but Myers were quick to silence him. And they told him, be quiet. But blind but Myers gives us a very important lesson that uh, we should carry through our life in ministry, in family, in your career, in the call that God has given you, that you are surrounded by many that will silence you and try to quiet you when you are at the moment of breakthrough. Blind but Myers did not comply to the voices of the majority. He knew that in his call, he was not calling to the crowd. He was seeking the attention of Jesus, who was the healer. He had the ability to transform and change his situation. Today, as I pray for myself, I pray for you, that we will not pay attention to those voices that are trying to quiet us, to, that are trying to silence us, we try to make progress, we speak about our dreams and they're telling us of the impossibilities ahead of us and those that have tried before us and failed, we will keep calling, we will keep trying, we will keep attempting until we get the attention or that we require. Remember, your call is not projected towards the crowd. The crowd is following Jesus, but your voice has to go above the crowd. What has silenced you in the past? What has silenced you when you're praying for your marriage? When you're working hard towards saving to do this project? This morning, I want to speak to you as I speak to myself. Keep calling. Keep working on it. Don't pay attention to the naysayers. Don't pay attention to the discouragers. Don't pay attention to those that are trying to bring you down and make you see the impossibility. There is possibility in persistence. One thing I know is that persistence will break every resistance. May this week be a week when you'll pay attention to the things that matter and you'll be persistent in the things that matter regardless of the crowd uh, uh, around you that is making you to be quiet. May the Lord bless you. I'll appreciate if you do a comment. I'll appreciate if you like and share. And this way we shall have invited others into the kingdom of God. God bless you so much. May the day and the week be colorful. In Jesus' name, amen.